Hey guys, Alex here from AlexFigures.com. So behind me, I've got seven red light therapy handheld devices. I tested these devices in my 2021 handheld red light therapy comparison. I'll put a link to that video and blog below so you can go check them out. In that video, I tested these devices over all sorts of areas, power, price, EMF, um, ease of use, all that sort of jazz, and I ranked them from best to worst, at least based on my experiences and opinion. Uh, in that review, I tested the EMF levels of these units, but I only tested the EMF levels at six inch, six inches, which is like your standard sort of distance you're meant to be from, from most red light therapy. Panels, the large one, the body panels. Um, but with these battery powered uh, handheld units, a lot of people are using them right up against the body or, or at least like an inch or two away. And I've had a few people ask me, hey, could you test the levels, the EMF levels at closer distances such as three inch and, and even right up against the unit. And uh, you know, I thought I really should have done that in my main review. So uh, I do apologize for not thinking about that when I first reviewed them. But what I've done is I've decided, you know what, today I'm going to get out my electro smog meter and uh, my ruler, which is somewhere around here, and I'm going to retest all the EMF levels at the three inch mark and also right against the device. So I'll be sharing all that data with you in this video. What I'll also be doing is publishing this data in my updated red light therapy data sheet. Now I'll put a link to this below as well. You can go in there and you'll be able to see all the, the ratings, the prices, my review links, uh, size, what wavelengths these units emit, everything like that. Uh, not just for these devices, but also for my larger body panels as well. So the Juve Solo, the Biomaxes, the Mitre Reds, all of that is published in a free spreadsheet. All right, so what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna go through and test all of these for both magnetic and electric fields. I'm not gonna test with microwave because none of these have microwave transmitters in them. So there's no point testing that. Um, I'm gonna test for magnetic and electric fields at three inch and zero inch against the surface. Uh, and I'm gonna, I'm not gonna bother with six inches because I've already done that. Once I've got all the data, I'll come back and I'll uh, share my findings with you guys. And of course, I'll be updating that in that spreadsheet. All right, I'm going to get into it. All right, I'm done. I've tested all of these devices with my cornet meter, and I can happily say that they are all safe to use at any distance, six inches, three inches, or even hard up against the body. So you can press it right up against the body. There was no magnetic field reading of any of these, um, even right up against the device which doesn't surprise me because they're all battery powered so it's direct current. Um, on the electric field, only one had a slight little uptick and that was the Gemba Red Spacer and uh, the readings there were 12 uh, volts over, oh, V over M, I gotta figure out what this is, um, which was rock bottom and at, that was at three inches and then as you got right up against it it was a little bit higher i think it was like 30 something but that was still perfectly safe based on the building biology standards personally i would use that happily you know like no issues whatsoever and that was that one there is not battery powered that needs the plug right so that's probably why we're seeing a slight uptick there all the rest though perfectly fine so Pretty much, if you are um, wanting to buy one of these but you're concerned about EMF levels, then two things, don't be, don't be concerned about it. Secondly, any of these are perfectly safe, all right? So if you're like, oh, I wanted to get this, but you know, I was worried that it might have a high EMF reading, just, you can remove EMF, um, the EMF metric out of your wide decision-making process because they were all good. So that is really, really good. Now what I'm gonna be doing is publishing all this data in my um, red light therapy spreadsheet data sheet however like i said it's going to be pretty boring data because they're all it's all going to be nil or zero um i'm also going to be testing the radiance and doing some value metrics and emf and sound and all that sort of jazz um i said emf I, i've already tested the emf i'll test flicker and uh, i'll put all of that into that data sheet as well but if you are looking at buying a handheld red, red light therapy device check out my 2021 hand, handheld red light therapy comparison video because um that's all you really need to know to help you find the best red light therapy handheld device for your needs. All right, if you've enjoyed this or found it useful, useful, please give me a thumbs up or a like. If you've got any questions, leave them below and uh, be sure to subscribe as well because I've got a lot of videos like this and um, lots of other reviews coming out in the future. So uh, enjoy. See you soon.